Hello everyone, it's Guys here and welcome to the Minecraft Creative Roundup for 2022, which will be the top 5 builds of this year. This build, you'll recognise hopefully, because we literally just did this. This is the Christmas town that I did. It was fun, it was chaotic, there was a lot of terraforming to do, because the terrain wasn't the best choice, but I didn't want to search for millions of chunks just to find the perfect terrain. I want everything in this world accessible from one place or another, hence a train line we put in. That was a lot of work. Here's the market. The market was um, probably the easiest of the builds because it was pretty much just fences, some blocks, and some wool, and done. And then we had the log cabin hotel resort thing. And here we have the Halloween town, which is the next build on our list. That was fun. It was spooky. I then apparently didn't cut this footage, but as you can see here, it looks much better at night because I lit it in such a way that it turned 10 I clicked a button. It's lit in such a way that's a bit dark and spooky. And here is the train station. The train station was the first build we did in the episode titled This Is Halloween. That got a lot of views, probably because of what the title is. And here we have the theatre just to the now left of us. And inside the theatre, underneath it, you'll find the Phantom's Lair, which was the best build I think I did for this whole thing. It was one of my favourites. Moving on, we have what was the first Minecraft creative episode of this year, which I think was literally just titled House. We built a lot of houses on this channel, and then we built the Taskmaster house at the end of this year. I think this was like the last non-festive episode that we did. There's a lot of footage of this because I spent so long trying to get the roof right. Here we have the interior. It's obviously not the same layout as it would actually be because I couldn't figure out how to put that in and get every single little feature in. So it's practical. And outside, we go around to the shed belonging to little Alex Horn! And I believe we're about to move on to the next build, which was the sixth musical theatre stage set thing that we did. I think... When was that? It might have been September? I'm not entirely sure, but this was a fun one. We're going to rebuild a similar one at some point over on um, the main creative world that we're now using. Here you can see I put a lot of work into banners and little decorative things. And there's some other stuff behind it relating to like photos I took for the six stuff. I put a lot of lanterns in, in all the different colours of the Queen's costumes and of course the alternate costumes because I love the alternate costumes. And next up, we have the theatre on the same world as the sixth musical stage that houses our Heather's stage. Again, this is another one that... This actually used to be reworked a bit and rebuilt because, I mean, while technically I have all the features correct, this is way too big. As you can see back there, there's the bit in place of the Heather's entrance that's worked with redstone and we have the dressing rooms. And this one I picked because it has the Heather's costumes in. This was a build that took a while because of the amount of backstage area that had to be built. That was very badly planned. And out here we can look out into the auditorium with its glorious seats. The seats were the easiest bit, I, I think. I don't really remember. But that's it for the Minecraft Creative Roundup this year. I hope you all have a good new year and I will see you whatever the date next Sunday is.